So I finally surfaced from my Skyrim and Star Wars The Old Republic binge that have been going on all throughout December. Plus the holidays are over so that means I can stop running around with my head cut off and here's a vlog! Surprise! And we're not even really going to go over news because this is just it's time for me to catch up with you and you to catch up with me. So we're going to start off with Christmas haul. Like I know this is totally like beyond Christmas, but what did you guys get gaming wise for Christmas? I didn't get a whole lot because I usually buy what I want. So I actually got a lot of really cool neat stuff, but I did get something kind of gamey and it was, it was crafty. It was very crafty by my sister. So many people who know me know that I'm a bit of a fan Final Fantasy nut and like I own just about any Final Fantasy game, have played just about any Final Fantasy game. And like a couple weeks ago, my sister was like, oh hey, uh, she just started going on and on about Final Fantasy and I thought, oh man, she's, you know, finally getting excited and she's gonna play this, these games. And, and really, she was just digging for a present idea. So I got uh, Final Fantasy Dissidia for the PSP, which I'm excited to play because I don't play fighting games very much, but you know, I when I do play them, I do enjoy them. And I got uh, the first Final Fantasy on PSP. I have it for PlayStation and I think it works on my PS3 but I don't want to sit in front of my console and play the first one plus this one's all done up like super nice compared to the first one like I think it's the Origins PlayStation disc it's way nicer it's all pretty and everything so I'm very excited about that because that means I can play Final Fantasy on the go and actually finish the first Final Fantasy because I haven't done that yet and any of you who follow me on Twitter know that I bought myself a Christmas present I just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't resist it. Star Wars The Old Republic. I was buying it actually as a gift for someone else the day that it came out and I thought, oh, what the hell, why not? I'm such an MMO junkie. Like if you see, oh wait, there's like Dark Ages of Camelot. I have like all the old EverQuests hidden away. EverQuest was my first MMO ever. World of Warcraft, um, Uru, the, that was gonna be the missed MMO that didn't work out. So it just kind of flopped and fell away to nothing. I'm an MMO junkie, it's pathetic. but. Game wise, I've been playing a ton of Skyrim. I finally, finally got to pick it up, finally had the extra cash, and I love it. It is, it totally deserves Game of the Year for me because it's just this huge, huge game and you can just put so many hours into it and it's done so well. Like you just, you keep going on to the next quest and you want to see what happens when you're going through all the quest lines and it's just, it's an amazing, an amazing game and I haven't really run into any bad glitches yet. Like sometimes there's some funny body ones but other than that it's just, it's such a good game and I really, really want to post some videos of it, of me just playing here and there, not like a, an entire playthrough, dear god. That game, you know, consumes like 300 hours of your life at most so yeah playthrough I'd be doing that I'd be uploading that forever for years so I have a, a dark elf and I haven't really had the chance to customize her yet because you can't really do anything up until level 20 and that's when you can kind of start really focusing into certain things that you want to do I have also been playing Star Wars the Old Republic as I've said earlier in this vlog and it's it's such a cool neat little MMO and at first I was like oh my gosh this game is so huge I didn't really need the voice acting. I know how to read. I mean, come on. But the voice acting is so cool and it really brings you into that game and gives you that, that single player feeling. But you... And the grouping system, oh my goodness, it, it works out so, so well. Like you could have a group of, you know, four people and you could all be on the same quest. And so you can all sit there and, cause you make decisions through the quest and you make decisions on how the quest outcome, like, you know, what you do and where you go next. It's, it's so neat. So everyone can make a decision. You can all view, you know, the dialogue and the quest and what's happening. And other people can actually in your group spectate on a quest that you may be doing, but they're not doing, or they can help you out with like my I have a, a inquisitor well no longer inquisitor she's an assassin now but that whole storyline with my my class um other people who are with me they can spectate you know what's going on in my quest line which is it's super cool it's a very 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 neat MMO and I can't wait to see what else they're gonna do with it and what else they're gonna add to it because I mean it's Star Wars that game could go on forever and add endless amount of things 
Oh my goodness. So those are the two games that I've mainly been playing. Um, I picked up a ton of games on the Steam deal, Christmas deals that were going on. I got Alice Madness Returns. I got, gosh, I can't even remember. I'm just totally drawing a blank. But oh yeah, I got Command and Conquer Red Alert 3. I got Civilization 5. Oh my god, I forgot to say that. I've been playing that too. Like I wasted my entire Sunday. After I got, because I was out with my family and then I got home, my Sunday afternoon was just Civilization 5 up until like 3 in the morning. It was, it was so, it was sick, but it was awesome. Civilization 5. I want to post some videos of that too because it is such a neat little game and I'm totally like taking over the world. I did like a North America ripoff map. <laughs> I've, I've taken out Japan because they were being mean and I took out Germany because they were being mean to me and uh, Caesar, he's being mean to me so I'm just gonna take him out too. But that's everything that I've been playing since the last time that we did this vlog and I promise we're gonna get back on track with it. I promise. And I promise that we're gonna get back on track with a lot of the playthroughs, specifically the Resident Evil because I said I was gonna finish it. That's what I'm gonna do because the laptop is fixed finally. I got a really nasty virus and I tried to reformat it and things just went wrong. Oh, they just, oh god, it went downhill from there after that. But it's finally in working order so I can finally get playthroughs off my consoles and stuff like that. So you'll be seeing a lot more of that. We will finally finish the Resident Evil playthrough. I feel like I want to do another playthrough and that is Alice Madness Returns because it's such a neat, neat little game and I want everyone else to see it. But yeah, I'm going to be adding more videos of different games that I'm playing just like showing you what I'm doing at the time. Yeah, that's about it. That's, you know, what I got for Christmas game-wise. Uh, that's what I've been playing. What have you guys been playing all this past month of December? Did you guys get anything cool off the Steam deals? Because I got a ton of stuff. Um, what did you guys get for Christmas? All that fun stuff. But this is the end of the video, so if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. There's a little button somewhere around me. Hit it. Subscribe. Um, you can like me on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter. All that fun stuff. The descriptions will be down below. And don't forget to leave a comment and just let me know how you guys have been doing this past December. And I will catch you guys next week with another vlog.